Hello and welcome, Tarmo Ormel here, and I'm going to provide you a very quick trick or tip on how to sort of protect or watermark your documents for various reasons and purposes. So imagine we have a Word document open up behind us, and you might have some really uh, preliminary uh, research work or findings that you want to share with people, but you don't want that to be mistaken as being sort of the, the final version. So let's, uh, let's create some very quick text here to demonstrate what we're talking about. I'm going to zoom in on the bottom here just so that we can see what I'm typing. And I'm going to type in equals rand. Okay, lots of text in the background. Okay, let's head up here to the first page and say, you know what? I want to watermark this page. So it shows up on photocopying, it shows up on the document so that people know exactly the status of the work. So that nobody will be taking it as serious. So let's uh, head up to the ribbon bar here, head up to the design ribbon, and head on all the way over here to the right hand side where we have the page background tools and there are the watermark tools. There's a down arrow, let's click on this button. It's going to open up a window that unfortunately is uh, hidden from view because it's up to the top, but there are a series of options that you can choose from as they pop up and you can click on the disclaimer that says draft. And when you click on that, you'll notice that it now writes draft on the page behind your work. And we'll do this on each page of your document. There are tools and options on this watermarks settings where you can remove the watermarks, but you can also click on custom watermark and that allows you to sort of decide exactly what you want it to say. So perhaps you want it to say that this is draft 001, then people will know exactly what the draft number is if it's maybe not in your uh, title on the page or if it's not part of the file name, it makes it really clear what it is. You can also make it diagonal, you can set it to be horizontal, you can make it semi-transparent, you can play around with the font, you can play around with the color, but something that is present but not overbearing is usually a little bit, little bit better and this draft wording will show up really well when you go to create a photocopy of this document for example. So we're going to hit OK here and notice that it now says draft 001 in the background. So there's no mistaking that this is the final copy um, so that when you distribute this material, it's protected in some way. You can put your name, you can put copyright information, you can change the font to be really small, but you can have it embedded in behind so that when people do get your document or try to copy it, that there is some watermarking, uh, some security features embedded in your document. When you're all done, everyone's finished editing the document, you head up back to the watermark tool and you click on remove watermark and it's gone. You can save it, create a PDF, post it, publish it, do whatever it is that you need to do to your document and you're ready to go. So watermarking, a nice way to keep track of the versions or the state of your documents, but also to add some security features to them. And it's a relatively simple process. Uh, it can be text, but Word also allows you to put figures in the background. Maybe you want a company logo or something like that. All doable for you. So until next time, uh, stay tuned for more tips and tricks with Microsoft Office tools.